bright light there okay. is who we're talking to. Great. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Why is this show so popular? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> well, I love it. My wife loves it. Thank you. Why do you think it's engaged so much with the public? I think uh, shit's dark out there. Am I allowed to say that? Yeah, um, of course. And, and it's a show that's filled with hope at the center. It's colorful and bright, and people are happy sometimes in it, and I think that, that speaks volumes. This is, it's also a story about a woman. Yes. It's also a woman struggling in a man's world. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, it's about a woman finding her voice in a brand new way. She's realizing that in the past, her world was very small and her worldview was very narrow. And as she grows up and matures and, and things get harder for her than they have been in the past, she's taking the rose-colored glasses off and seeing the world in a brand new way. And, and certainly that means that she's seeing some of the injustices and different forms of oppression that women faced then and still do today. New York City in the 1950s. Yes. What is it like living in New York in the 1950s? Dressing it, seeing it, inhabiting it. It's beautiful. And yeah. this is certainly a fantasy of New York in the 1950s. Wally Shawn, who was on the show in the first season, said one day that he lived through the 1950s and he doesn't remember it being nearly so colorful. He said it was pretty brown. <laughs> So, um, tell me a little bit about seeing the costumes and the sets in a museum. You're going into the third season, and all of this is in a museum. I've never heard of this for a TV show. I haven't either, but I'm so happy that everyone's extraordinary work gets to be on display this way, especially the costumes, the set design by the extraordinary Bill Groom, costumes by Donna Zakowska. I'm excited that people get to see the work on the show in this new light and that it's it's a little bit more permanent. I've heard that this was inspired a little bit at least by Joan Rivers. Is she is is no, that true? It's not true. I don't know where that rumor started. This is actually inspired by dear Amy Sherman Palladino's dad, yeah. who was a stand up comic. And that's where the story came from. I started that rumor and it's <laughs> wrong. We had that wrong. corrected right here on New York One. Yeah, no, hello. <laughs> uh, I think there's certainly some similarities, but at the core, they're completely different women. Joan Rivers always felt like she was an ugly duckling. She felt like she didn't belong in the world that she was born into, and that's where her comedy came from. Midge is the opposite of that. She's someone who thrived under all the restrictions that women faced, felt empowered by it in her own way, and her comedy comes from everything having crashed down around her. Boy, this is the best when I'm just contradicted by the star on TV. All the best. Well, listen, great to see you. you and thanks for talking to us, okay? Yeah, bye-bye. Thank you. To what do you attribute the incredible popularity of this show? Yeah, well, if we all knew that, then people would try to do it again and again and again. I, I think uh, we have amazing writers. We have, uh, we have Amy Sherman Palladino and Dan Palladino who have this amazing vision. And a lot of times I think it's the timing of uh, a show is successful or not based on the timing of it. You know, when it comes out at a, at a certain moment, uh, Things are going on in our in our country, in our society, uh, that and there's a certain appetite for this, and um, we just have a great we have a great creative team. We have amazing designers, and we have a tremendous cast, and uh, it's it just somehow um, the stars align, and no one can really explain how or why it happens. But to to have a a, a young woman at the center of this story, yeah. and to see this woman. Uh, finding her voice and pushing, uh, you know, pushing against the the kind of the boys' club of it all, the, yep. and um, and 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 gaining success. I think that's fun for people to watch. In 